The Global Regina Studios, News Hour Final with Whitney Stinson. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. A home at Regina Beach is decimated and a dozen others damaged following a major explosion. It happened at about 2.30 this afternoon and is being blamed on an underground gas leak. The scene is shocking. Global's Kim Smith was out at Regina Beach today and caught up with the owners of that house. Shock, more, you know, disbelief. Their home, now a pile of rubble, was more than 100 years old. Mark and Kathy Oldershaw bought the cottage about eight years ago with their kids. They've been renovating it and it's been winterized, so they've been spending about half of their time out at Regina Beach, even in the winter. Luckily, Kathy Oldershaw had to work in the city this week, otherwise they would have been out here. We could have been there last night, so we were thinking of coming out and didn't, thank God. He hasn't really sunk in, sunk in yet, so um, and we'll no one, see. <laughs> and no one was hurt. Yeah, nobody was hurt. We, were we lost the building. We lost furniture. The, we lost and things. And things, but... That can be replaced. We weren't there. You can't, <laughs> you can't replace a life. The blast shook homes and businesses several blocks away. The RCMP says 12 additional houses are damaged, as well as the town post office. The house that sustained the most damage, obviously, um, that was right across the street from the post office, and the post office did sustain extensive damage as well. I know the roof um, was collapsed, the wall was caved in as well. The town of Regina Beach has declared a local state of emergency. As of Wednesday evening, gas and water to homes in a three-block radius to the explosion had to be shut off. An emergency check-in center has been set up at the local elementary school. We come together when somebody of our, our own community needs help, we're there. And uh, I think that's the way of any small town. There's been a lot of small towns that have gone through problems this last while. And, and this is all you've seen, people pulling together to work together. Uh, your neighbours are your friends. Several hours after the explosion, smoke continues to billow. Sask Energy says an underground gas leak is believed to have been the cause. The older Shaws are just thankful no one was hurt and are staying positive despite losing their home. Now I've got another project to do, I guess, so we have to figure out how we're going to rebuild this thing. Kim Smith, Global News. The holidays are a time to relax and have a good time, and in some cases, that includes some festive beverages. Regina police see a rise in impaired drivers over the holiday season, and our Steve Silva got a behind-the-scene look at a program targeting those increased numbers in an effort to help keep our roads safe. Tonight we have uh, additional officers out on patrol. They're not part of the regular shift. They're part of Operation Overdrive, and we're along for the ride. It's Christmas party season, it's Saturday night, so um, that's why we're out here. Officers, some in unmarked cars, patrol hotspots and use tips from the public. Their targets? Impaired drivers. Intox driver hit complainant's vehicle. Complainant thinks the driver's trying to leave, so we'll go over there. The driver of this car rear-ended another car before taking off. He made it three blocks before being pulled over. The driver faces a number of charges, including impaired driving. All things considered... This is a pretty good outcome of an impaired driving collision. Uh, nobody was hurt. Sergeant Ian Barr says catching impaired drivers isn't an exact science. This driver wasn't found through the program, but Operation Overdrive does make an impact, ranging from just license suspensions... Maybe one or two of those on a really slow night to... Uh, we've had up to five, six charges in a four-hour period. Check stops were primarily used two decades ago, but with social media helping people avoid them, the mobile version is now the one most used. In turn, that means fewer vehicles are stopped. But unfortunately, a higher percentage of those vehicles uh, have some kind of drinking and driving activity, so there might be a license suspension or a, or a charge. Impaired driving offenses have dipped from a five-year high of 812 in 2010. There have been 637 by October of this year. It will more than likely exceed that, st that uh, combination of uh, charges that was for 2013. And, you know, not saying that impaired driving has increased throughout the city That's of Regina. Rather, more people are getting caught. I have also had to be the one to... Uh, to go knock on somebody's door and, and, you know, be every mother's worst nightmare and tell them that uh, their child has been killed in a car crash. The worst part of the job stemming from something completely preventable. Steve Silva, Global News. 
Well, Christmas came early for some families in Yorkton today who were displaced after a massive fire gutted their apartment building last week. A local business raised funds and today the Raiders football team helped deliver close to 30 mattresses and box springs to those affected by the blaze. Our Matt Myers was there to capture the touching moments. We're just delivering beds. There's a recent fire and quite a few people lost their homes, so we're delivering beds. They've been through a tough time. A lot of people uh, who lost their homes, they're not from here. They're from other places, other countries, so, you know, it's, it's good to help them out. People were at a loss, like even staff, like you, you, you came to work and you're talking about this fire and, you know, Realizing there's like 42 rooms in there, I believe, and how many people could be 100 people displaced. In the beginning, the outpouring of all the uh, uh, clothing and, and all the small items, people in Yorkton were so supportive, like it was fantastic. But then it came to the bigger items. And the urgency was with beds. So that was our goal, is to supply the beds for the people that need them. I think it's just unbelievable. It's just amazing how like so much people just came together and gave everything. They saved Christmas. They saved Christmas for my kids because I never, I didn't think like, I thought like, what were we, what are we gonna do now? We have nothing. And then now all these people giving us everything, you know. I think that's like so amazing that they would do that and help us. It's always a rewarding thing when people give you that big smile. Hopefully that uh, this is one step to put uh, one little piece back in each of these lives that was taken away from them. Welcome back. Well, on a day like today, summer seems quite far away, but some hopefuls from across the province are trying out for an upcoming summer tour with one of Saskatchewan's most prestigious theater groups. Saskatchewan Express is now in its 35th year. Global's Matt Myers introduces us to some of those hoping to make the cut. Uh, I know that a lot of people think, oh yeah, they sing and dance, but the hours and hours and work that goes in to what they see on that stage is tremendous. They come in and we do a bit of an interview. So tell me what you got out of being in those groups. Um, I just really, really kind of seized up when they asked me all those questions. They do two songs uh, of their choice. I like to laugh, I like to spell, I like to never hear the bell. I scanned YouTube and um, I just fell in love with one of the songs that, the first song that I sang, Run Away With Me. Get the car packed and throw me the keys, run away with me. And they have to do a monologue. It is the star to every wandering bark. I've always looked up to this group, so it's always been a dream of mine to be a part of them. We have someone who teaches them uh, a song in part. Then they do some dancing. I tried to really bring forth my previous dance training. I hope I get the opportunity to be a part of this group, and if not, then I'll be back next year. I had lots of fun, that's the main thing. When you're on stage, you just, you hear that applause, and you just, you love it. It's like, it's like your addiction. When you're a performer, your addiction is applause. Yeah. 